Hey guys, Cooking with Kay, Thanksgiving edition. I'm making my sweet potato pie. This is the pie crust. This is Orange Q. This is the brand. They sell it in Key Food, Whole Food. Um, some stop and shops, it gotta be the fanciest stop and shops. However, this is the shit. You don't have to make your own crust. I've been making this for about 10 years. Don't make my own crust. I buy the shit. Hipping you the game. So, you take a knife, you poke holes in the bottom, poke holes on the side, preheat your oven for 375 degrees. You put this in your oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Why you're poking holes? Because you don't want it to puff up. Again, this is a raw pie crust. If you're making sweet potato pie, you want the pie crust to be somewhat cooked. You don't want it burnt. That's why you're only putting it in for 10 minutes. Now, the sweet potatoes are here. I cooked them earlier. Boiled. Mashed. And then I put mixed it with a mixer. Now, in here, all you have is just sweet potatoes and butter. Unsalted butter. You need one cube. You drop it in. You can put it in a microwave and melt it a little bit but you don't want it to get crazy. I'm gonna come back and show you all of the other ingredients that go into your sweet potato, sweet potato pie. Cooking with K, Thanksgiving edition. Be right back. So after you have boiled and mashed two and a half cups of sweet potatoes, which are here, you just let it sit on the side for a bit. Now, you're going to add your sugar, nutmeg, vanilla extract, and then you're going to beat all of that in here until it's incorporated. So, for your vanilla extract, you need one teaspoon. Sugar, you need two cups of sugar, brown sugar, or more or less, depending upon how sweet or not sweet you want it. And then you mix all of that together. So let's do that now. Here are your options. You can use this nutmeg, this nutmeg, or you can grate your own. I choose to grate my own. I got this actually in Barbados. So you just grate what you would think is one teaspoon so I'm going to use one because we have two and a half cups so here is let me tell you this smells amazing that's it you don't need to add any more now you add two cups of brown sugar dark brown sugar and you mix it in just get it mixed in a bit and then you're going to use your electric mixer to mix it all in but right here I'm just making sure that it gets into the sweet potato and it's somewhat in incorporated now you take your mixer and you just make sure that you don't have to put it on a high speed just make sure that it's on a medium speed and it's just incorporated just make sure that the sugar is all mixed into your sweet potato you don't want it lumpy in some parts but it basically melts pretty easily because these sweet potatoes are still just a little bit warm and just incorporate it in, get it all melted around, and then let's get to the next step. So here we add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. 
Um, you can get this at any local store. Um, this, I believe, I got in Dominican Republic. Be that as it may, you want to mix this around really well into your sweet potatoes before you add your egg. Your eggs are going to be in your next reel, but um, just mix in your vanilla extract into the sweet potatoes at this point, and then we'll add the eggs. We're going to add two large eggs, but we're going to add them one at a time. So we add one egg and mix it in really, really, really well into your mixture. And then you add your next egg. There you go. And you mix that really well. Make sure you get that really, really mixed in. You don't want any bits and pieces of that egg to be money. Just mix it in really, really good. Get all of the size of the sweet potato into that mixture because that's what pulls everything literally together. Just mix it a little bit more and then we get to our next step. Now you add your next batch of milk. You add half, and then you add the other half. And then you mix that into the egg, and the sweet potato, and the nutmeg, and the vanilla extract. So all of that is mixed together. You make sure you get the sides. You can take a spatula and just spoon everything into your mixing bowl, make sure everything is mixed in. Then you add in the rest of the milk. Just slowly add it in because you don't want it spilling up on you. There you go. Just blend that really well, fold everything in. Make sure all of that is, like, none of the white of the milk is showing. Just mix it really well for about a good five minutes. So now you're going to add your mixture into the filling of your pie shell. Your pie shell has to be cool. So make sure that it's not hot or like halfway hot, warm, you want it cool. You add all of your mixture here and you smooth it down as if you were working in a construction site as a cement layer. So you literally lay each bit of it and smooth it around until it's like an inch from the top of the crust. Make it nice and smooth with your spatula. Turn it around. Make sure you get all of the extra out of it and you're done. You're going to add it to your oven at three. Now, welcome back to the end. This is your finished product. Three pies made with two bags of Trader Joe's sweet potatoes. I will be uploading this today, the day before Thanksgiving, so you guys will have this recipe. Sorry, uh, I don't bake more than a day before. However, it's going to be loaded up tonight, and you're going to be able to use some of this on your pies. I hope you add some whipped cream or some type of something, ice cream or something, but I use this whipped cream because you know your girl is lactose intolerant. So this whipped cream is actually from Key Food, but they have it at Trader Joe's. So 
here's your finished product. Get it popping, people. Happy Thanksgiving.